Hello again, Michael Friedberg here from beautiful North Carolina, and today I have two new products for review. The first is a Oleo Soapworks Tallow Base Soap. This is the Pucker. The scent here is lime, lemon, bergamot, and citron. And this is a tallow base soap, coconut oil base soap, but it does include shea butter, coconut butter, and jojoba oil. So let me just show you what it looks like inside the container. It is a hard dish soap, but not a hard soap. Um, I've scooped out enough, uh, plenty enough for the uh, for the week into the uh, Capsule's Choice loading bowl, which I'll show you in just a moment. Uh, today's razor is going to be the second of two Wolfman razors that are on loan to me. So let me just show you this one. This one looks quite different than last week's. This actually has a very, a very unique design as well, a design that you're now seeing resurrected in some other razors as well. This is about I think over a year old. So this has this kind of cool grooved or fluted cap uh, design you're now seeing in some other uh, other razors as well, but which clearly is a throwback to a legacy design. Very standard uh, inside there for the for the top cap there, just the two the two bars to hold the blade in place. Today it's going to be a Gillette Silver Blue that I've been using for the entire week, so this will be shaved number six on this blade. No issue so far. Uh, the base plate has the two grooved receptacles for the two grooves in the top cap. And this is a really interesting design because this base plate has an open comb and a closed comb side. So let me just put the washer on there as well. Same handle as last week, a standard Wolfman handle. Same, same quality in the screw action, by the way, it just screws on very, very smoothly. Make sure that's good and tight. So there you can see the open comb side, which I'll use for the first pass, and there's the closed comb side, which I'll use for the for the next two. All right, let me get my face wet again, and we'll start lathering up the soap. Today's brush is going to be the Rodney Mini Bore, with a bit of a story behind it now. That brush has always been a little bit scrubby, a lot of backbone, and did not always splay properly. So um, I saw from a barber online from the, uh, in the video, Italian barber said the best way to prepare a new bar brush is simply to soak it in cold water for two days. Now, I've already used this brush quite a bit, so I only soaked it for a day, but I have to say that one day of soaking did have an immediate and kind of dramatic impact on the, uh, on the brush. It is much easier to splay. It still has very nice soft tips. It still has good backbone but there was an immediate difference. So if you have a brand new bar brush that you're trying to break in, I think I would try it. Just leave the brush in a glass of water. I only had it up to about three quarters of the way, absolutely not all the way to the top, three quarters of the way in some cold water. Let it sit for a couple days and then just shake it out, dry it off and, uh, and see what you get. Based on my experience with this brush, um, I was very pleasantly surprised at just how well that worked. All right, so let me just dampen the brush through a little bit, shake out some of the excess water, there is the soap pressed into the Captain's Choice loading bowl. I'm going to load good and heavy again. The scent on the soap is a very nice, oh, it smells great, both in the container and just out of the loading bowl. It has a, a very nice, fresh, bright um, lime scent. It is not too heavily sort of on the sour side. It doesn't tell too much of lemon or too much of lime. Um, the mix of the bergamot this and the citron in there is just a very nice, clean citrus scent. Scent strength is uh, is middling. It's not overly strong, but it is very bright and certainly very distinct coming out of the container. This is this soap maker's first towel based soap, and I've got to say, so far, I've been very impressed. It has been very easy to lather. You can see there's already a bit of a creamy lather beginning to build. I'm going to add just a touch of water, just dripping a few drips using my many years as a, uh, as a chef in the Ritz Carlton where I did learn how to apply seasonings in a very posh way. All right, it's, it's getting there. You can see already just <laughs> that's looking really good. All right, that should be plenty. I'm gonna scoop out and just wet my face. Yeah, I have to say very impressed actually with the scent because just a really nice a nice bright citrus scent, not overpowering. There we go. I mean, you can already see that is 
starting to come together. This soap has been very easy to work with. It is a towel-based soap. There is the first piece of flung lather. That's always a good sign. It is a tallow-based soap. I have to say, in comparison to some other tallow-based soaps, this has been um, been giving me a bit of a lighter, a less overly dense, kind of thick, heavy lather. This has been beautifully creamy, light, very easy to shave with, and absolutely no issues to build. You can see that that's already come together beautifully. Yeah, very impressed so far with that soap. Been using it all week, not one issue. I deliberately went too far with the water one day and you can definitely get it, you know, overhydrated, but that's also very easy to avoid. Okay, I'm going to put just a touch of water in the brush and just even it out a little bit. Scent strength on lather is a little bit lighter than out of the container, but definitely still there. There we go. Yeah, nice. All right. And as you can see, which I'll show you again in the second and third pass, that brush just sways open with no issues now. It doesn't have at all the same kind of like resistive backbone to it. There's still backbone, but it splays easily. It seems softer, just great. Okay, the Wolfman. So this is the open comb side. I have to say right off the bat, Again, this head does cover. There is a touch, a tiny, tiny bit of, um, of overhang here, just a little bit. I don't know exactly what the geometry differences are between this razor head and the previous one, but I will tell you that right off the bat, this is immediately a noticeably better shave for me. I've had basically no issues with irritation. The blade has continued to work very well. The combination of this Razor blade and the soap have been absolutely fantastic this week. I've had two what I would describe as legitimately BBS shaves. Yeah, so for the first pass I've been using the open comb. So for those of you who are nervous about my not flipping the razor over between passes while I'm rinsing it, I'm not because I'm sticking with that side. Open comb side does not have uh, that sensation that you have on some open combs where you feel the combs are kind of digging into or a little bit too sharp. Now for the person on YouTube who asked about asked about me sort of changing directions during the uh, during the shave or during any given pass, that is true. And in fact, I'll show you just a second that sort of why I do that. First of all, the hair does grow in, in kind of a down and it kind of transitions here, but there are also times when in this first pass. I will shave out like that, and that is just because, well, it's comfortable to do so, and it just feels right to do so. So if that's the case for you, and you feel like you want to sort of mix up the strokes, you are not bound to only make with the grain pass, you know, strokes in your with the grain pass. You're certainly allowed to mix it up. Again, easy to get in those ridges under my, as I described it last time, my petite nose. First pass. All right, let's do across the grain. And I'll just show you what happens with the brush as we go through there. Oh, I'm just pulling some of the lather off. As you can see, how easily that is splaying. 
I'm not pressing hard to make that happen. I am pressing down a little bit, but I'm not like crushing it on my face. It is just opening it up in a very natural, easy way. Okay, wow, that feels very good going on. Very nice, light, creamy texture to it. There we go. Okay. This will be the across the grain. I'm going to flip it over so that for this pass, I'm going to be using the, the straight bar side or the closed comb. It's, as always, just over two days worth of growth. Shaved Friday morning for work and then skip a shave on Saturday. Which does mean that during parts of Saturday and certainly Sunday morning, it's really starting to itch already. There we go. So again, when I'm shaving in these, in these passes, it's not completely 100% across the grain. For example, here I'm gonna mix it up a little bit. But again, I'm just shaving in the way that feels comfortable to shave. Now, for example, here, with the other Wolfman, that was where I could already begin to feel that there was a bit of irritation building. Not so with this head design. No sensation of tugging and the slickness of the soap really helps this work. I do have another one from Oleo Soapworks, which is a vegan recipe, which I think is the Caballero, um, which I'll be getting to in a couple of weeks. I've got kind of a queue of soaps building up, but I'm very curious to see just how well that, uh, that vegan formula performs as well. If this is a uh, soap maker's first item with the towel based soap, I'm expecting that vegan soap to be very good as well. There we go. Yeah, I have to say, last week's shave with the Wolfman, quality is fantastic, but that particular head design that would absolutely not be the razor for me because it's just not comfortable enough. I'm going to load just a little bit more soap because I can. There we go. Just pull out some of the extra lather that was in there and just wet the brush a tiny bit. But this particular head geometry, this design, um, I totally get why people feel like this is, you know, sort of the razor for them. Shaves have been really in some ways kind of effortless. Razor feels very safe in use. You don't feel any sort of dangerous blade chatter or too much, you know, exposed blade edge. The Nurly makes it very easy to hold. No danger about that slipping in your hand. Combine that with another great soap. Man, you got a winning, winning combination here. And certainly for the money for a custom razor, it really has to be spectacular. You know, it would be a bummer to pay for a custom razor like this and then end up with a head that just, a head design or a geometry that just does not work for you. Okay, close comb side for pass number three, the against the gray pass. Just very light, no real pressure. A 
So you can see here, I'm kind of turning. I'm mixing the direction of the stroke because the hair there on my chin is not obviously all straight down. It begins to turn right there. So you should be able to do the same. Just experiment a bit to try to figure out. You know, how best to adapt the angle to the way your hair grows and to get the most comfortable shape possible. No tugging there at all. Only thing I've had to do with this razor, and this happens to me actually a lot, is just remind myself, just watch the pressure. Residual slickness on the soap is really quite good. All right, may just need to be just a, a brief extra pass right under there. Yeah, right there. Just pull out a bit of the remaining lather. Yeah, this is a tiny knot, but as you can see, that has not have any impact on ability to build lather or to hold a lather. Those huge knots are fantastic, don't get me wrong. It's really fun to have a huge, big blooming, but you don't need that. Oh, make sure I'm switching to the right side. That was the open comb. All right, that was that. Yeah, beautiful. Absolutely fantastic shave. Yeah, that version of the razor head is so much better. Com completely understand why, if that's a razor that you bought and it shaves that well for you, that you would certainly consider that money very well spent, especially because that razor is gonna last you forever. Okay, rinsing off the soap. Very good residual slickness. Not that hard to rinse in some ways. There's definitely residual slickness, but it's not like it's really reluctant to come off. And that may be in part because, well, it's just a, a slightly lighter tallow-based lather. And so far, really, really been enjoying the soap. Wow. Yeah, that was really, really good. All right, well, now to close that out, well, I wasn't quite sure what to do because it could have been the, the Formula C again, but no. 
I'm going to use today just an aftershave balm, a note aftershave, and it's going to be Captain's Choice Lime, because what else would I really pick? So let me go for this, a couple pumps, and oh, that's got to fit down there. Just spread it in my hands first, and then, mmm, yeah, that is a very nice compliment. Ah, let that just work in. Wow, that was a exceedingly close, very comfortable, easy, easy shave. Oh, wow, when it goes that well, it's just such, such a joy. I'm sure the same is true for you when you just get one of those fantastic easy shaves. It just, yeah, it just makes you smile, smile for the rest of the day. All right, I'm just rinsing my hands. I don't know about you, but there's something about the remaining um, aftershave balm in my hands. And generally speaking, after I apply it, I almost always rinse my hands and then towel off. All right, so, well, <laughs> Yeah, okay, that was real, real good. Let's start off with excellent item number one, Oleo Soap Works. This is the towel-based formula, pucker, lime, lemon, bergamot, and citron. As you can see, I've scooped out quite a bit into the, uh, into the bowl. As I said before, it's not a very hard soap. You can definitely dent it with your finger, but it's hard dish. It's not one of like a really soft, not on the soft side of a croak. Yeah, just a, a beautiful, light, sweet mixture of those uh, those citrus scents. Very, very nice. So performance has been fantastic. Easy to lather. The scent strength is on the light side, but definitely persists throughout the shave. Uh, no issue working that up with the with the bore brush. Um, the you know slickness is really very good. Post shave conditioning, also you know it's up there. My skin doesn't feel tight or hot, um, and just slickness during the shave was was fantastic. It made. Uh, that shave very easy using this razor, which is this custom Wolfman with the grooved or fluted top, the top cap, and the mixed, what we would call now in modern age, the mixed media base plate, which is the open comb and the straight bar side. Gillette Silver Blue on its sixth shave, still no issues. I might get crazy and carry that over to next week, but we'll see. Um, same handle as last week, deep. Just very, very well done knurling on this handle. Um, beautiful balance to this. It's heavy, but it doesn't feel unbalanced at all and very easy to control. I've had six excellent shades of this razor, certainly much better than the previous one. If this is what you're using as your Wolfman, if this is sort of the head geometry that you've got um, and it's working for you, I bet you're getting some fantastic shades out of that as well. Very impressed with that, that version of the razor. Fantastic. And the fact that you're going to get a custom design for things like the mixed comb design or the grooved cap or maybe a different different design of the cap. There's of course a lot of things you could do if you're machining each one by hand. Um, I bet there's a lot of options there. So that top notch on that side. Ooh, and excellent product number three, this custom brush from Rod Neep, which is an olive wood handle in the hourglass shape with the midget bore knot, which I have allowed to sort of blossom for a second time by soaking it in water for over 24 hours. Highly recommend you try the same. If you're having trouble breaking in your, your bar brush, go ahead and give that a whirl. Soak it for at least a day. Better to soak it for two. A glass of a glass of cold water, just let it sit. That brush just just work out fantastic. And then to cap it off, wonderful aftershave balm from Captain's Choice, the lime, which just has a scent, a nice bright lime scent as well. Very, very good mix with the uh, with the pucker from Oleo Soapworks. All around, that was just an absolute Beautiful shave. Wow, absolutely fantastic. Well, I don't know what else to say after that. We should just quit right there. Just end it immediately. I just want to say thank you again so much for watching. I really appreciate the time you're taking to watch these videos. Of course, as always, please feel free to leave a comment or question and I'll try to get back to that as quickly as I can. I really do appreciate the questions about sort of uh, you know how I use the products and sort of you know how I use the you know the, the tools of the trade as it were. Please keep those coming. I'm more than happy to answer those in a subsequent video wherever possible. So just to, just to be clear, what remains in this soap dish, I will scoop out. I will leave to dry on a piece of wax paper for two or three days. And then I will simply mix that into the now crazy, already crazy Franken soap I have going. And when that's really a full container, 
then I'll just start using that for one of the shades because God only knows how that's going to turn out. Well, let me just say thank you once again so much for watching. And until next time, goodbye.